Hey everybody, it's Scott uh, with another tool thought. Just another day out here in balmy Northeast Ohio working on this here Jeep. Uh, that's my new project vehicle. As you can see under the hood, she used to be purple. And around the sides here, the doors came off of a yellow Jeep. So my goal is to, you know, clean it all up, sand it down, and, uh, you know, make it all one color, preferably this OD green. Since I was in the Army, I am partial to the color. I did my first bit of quote-unquote customization and put the American Motors logo on there since it is an American Motors inline four, 2.5 liter. Uh, so I'm getting ready to... Uh, I, uh, I ground this off, you know, with, with a wire brush and whatnot. This thing is really rusty underneath, and the, the frame is rusty, the body's rusty. I think it may have been used for, you know, Bajan and four-wheeling and rivers and whatnot. It's just, everything on it's really corroded. Either that or it was in a flood somewhere, but uh, I'm starting to work on getting that under control. And uh, so I got a can of rust reformer that I'd like to start using on there. And I hate shaking rattle cans, so here's my solution. I just tape it to a Sawzall and uh, shake it up for a while. Different positions seems to do very well. I got my longest Sawzall blade in there and I just uh, tape it to it, shake it up for a while. And uh, it, makes, it makes my life a lot easier. So, uh, real quick video today. That's about all I got going on. Uh, if you noticed in one of my previous videos, we had bought the, uh, the white Astro van there. It was running pretty rough. We determined that it was the um, fuel injector spider, they call it. Uh, we pulled it out, and that definitely was it. The new, uh, the new spider is a multi-port fuel injection. It's actually got electrical connection for each leg. The one on the wall there I hung there because it rather resembles a spider. Uh, the one on the wall there had some sort of mechanical poppet valves and uh, cylinder three was clogged. Uh, the new one has dramatically increased horsepower and gas mileage so uh, that's where we stand with that vehicle. She's ready to go other than an O2 sensor light. Uh, sorry this isn't a tool related video. Uh, I guess I did show a sawzall in it but uh i haven't posted in a while figured you guys would like to know what i've been up to and there she is working on the uh steering gearbox leak too looks like i'm gonna have to replace the whole thing she's draining all over the floor there i well, hope you all having a good summer thanks for watching my channel i appreciate every one of my subscribers and i appreciate all your comments have a good day